As a sales leader, you know that prospecting every second counts. Every minute wasted is a potential lead lost. So how can you ensure your sales reps are making the most of their time and are reaching the right prospects with the right message? Enter Sales Hub. Our powerful sales software unites all your data, tools, and teams in one place. With Sales Hub, your reps have everything they need to effectively cultivate connections with prospects at scale through relevance. So let's take a look at the new prospecting workspace. Everything that I want to see as a representative is available to me right here in one place. All my tasks, sequences, leads, even my schedule. And I can open up leads further and my schedule. But let's take a look at leads. With the addition of our new lead management tool, reps can work their leads effortlessly, create, assign, and work leads without any fuss because your leads will move seamlessly throughout the stages as you engage them. If I decide to open up a lead, it creates a split view for me and I'll know where they stand based on how they fall in the process and leads will update as I'm contacting them. So if I reach out to one lead and log an email or a phone call, it'll actually switch everything over to attempting. But here's all the statuses that I can adjust in the settings. But for now, here's the default. New, attempting, connected if they happen to reply. If I want to move something to qualified, it creates a deal for me immediately. But if I need to disqualify it, it also asks me to select a disqualification reason. Hey, did we just hear another business development rep qualify another lead? With our new sales to sales handoff feature in meetings, your BDRs can capitalize on the momentum gained from a successful qualifying call and seamlessly schedule the next meeting on the account executive's calendar. So keep your deals moving forward. No more slowing down and going back and forth and losing interest. You can schedule it for your reps right here. One of my favorite features, being able to schedule a meeting right from the workspace. You ever get stuck with a contact where you can't actually schedule it for the account executive's calendar? Now, in professional, I can actually set up a rep rotation and keep the momentum going and make sure that I get that meeting booked with that lead. And with the new lead form routing tool, you can create conditional redirect rules within HubSpot forms to automatically qualify and route your leads to the right rep. So let's take a look. This lead routing form actually allows me to automate the experience so that if a lead actually interacts with something on my website, like a form for example, I can actually just immediately set them into a sequence of enrollment. This is huge. That automates the entire experience. I could never miss a lead at this point. And while we're on the topic of productivity, we made our sequences tool even smarter. Now your sales team can stop guessing which sequences work best and start truly optimizing their outreach based on actual revenue outcomes. Found a sequence that's underperforming? Simply use the new step level analytics to maximize each step in the sequence. Let's take a look. What's really cool here is we used to only show analytics for automated tasks like email sends, but now we can report on all steps, like even the non-automated ones like LinkedIn connection requests and manual tasks, emails, etc. What I especially love though here is the new A-B testing feature. I can take two different emails that I have in a sequence, enroll them both, and understand which one's working better when it comes to seeking the prospects. So I can identify the open rate, the click rate, the reply rate, and the meeting rate. This helps me understand what is working when it comes to sending the right emails to the right prospects. That's huge for identifying how many more meetings I could be booking and therefore how many more deals I could be closing because I get better contacts with those right prospects. But we don't stop there. We're also giving you the analytics you need to stay on track and optimize your prospecting activities. With our new out of the box prospect activities report, you can get a comprehensive view of your seller's prospecting activities with outcome focused metrics that ensure your prospecting efforts are yielding maximum results. Let's take a look. This report gives me insights to how my reps are performing based on the sequences that they have and how they're contacting their prospects. So here I can actually identify contacts enrolled, the number of meetings booked, contact touch points, emails sent, emails open, the list goes on. And then here also gives me really good insight into understanding what those analytics really mean when it comes to the number of meeting rates, for example, or even the average time to book a meeting. Up at the top here, these tabs show me the meetings overview, call overviews and performance, and task overview and performance. And if you don't know what kind of data you're looking at here, always check the about this report. These terms and definitions are very, very helpful in understanding how you can actually report on these results. And with the new deal management tools, you'll never lose sight of a deal again. Effortlessly uncover insights and prioritize your deals with things like deal tags, deal insights, and the new deal inspection view. Let me show you. You'll see a few things that are different here. First, the insights. Now I can actually get a better sense about how I'm performing within my deals as a sales leader. 
And with the new deal tags, I can see things like higher values, next activity might be due soon, or if things are risky because they haven't closed yet. But even better as a sales leader, I can actually take these and create tasks for my reps if I feel like that we need follow-up so that we can actually get back on top of this deal. And the new AI forecasting gives me insight into what I might have put manually for deal outcomes, but now AI can actually measure against it. It takes all of that historical data and helps me better understand as a sales leader where we actually should be. Did you say lead reporting? Because we've got you covered. This out of the box report lets you finally rally your marketing and sales teams around an aligned prospecting strategy. Report on each step along the path from lead generation to revenue and see how well you're actually converting your inbound, outbound, or any product qualified leads. I have insights here at the top that show me the general understanding of how many open leads there are, the average in progress leads, and conversion rate. And I can break this down even further with reps. I can see how many leads are owned by each rep. I can see how many they have in progress and the conversion rate of each rep individually. As a sales leader, this is huge being able to understand how I can coach and understand what my reps are doing with their leads and how we can make that even better. And much like we have customer journey analytics, now we also have deal journey analytics. This report gives me a true reflection of the path from prospect to revenue and see where deals are dropping off or skipping steps so I can help coach a little bit more effectively. I can take each step in my customer journey and see how it's performing across all the stages. That way I can understand where we're skipping steps or dropping off steps and help shorten the time it takes between lead and revenue. And speaking of being on the move, the HubSpot mobile app now lets your sales reps continue to engage and nurture their leads no matter where they are. At a conference, you can simply scan a business card or a QR code to add the new contact and immediately enroll them into a sequence in just a few taps, all from your mobile device. Let me show you. Hit the plus button at the bottom of the screen and tap scan business card. Now I can scan a business card or the QR code and it'll open and I can save that contact immediately. Now I can also enroll that contact into a sequence by tapping more and then hit enroll. Tap on the prospecting sequence and enroll. And with AI Assistant on Sales Hub, available in HubSpot, Gmail, Outlook, or Office 365, your reps can craft highly personalized sales emails in no time. This way, less time is spent on writing and more time is spent researching, reviewing, and crafting fast and relevant messages that connect. Start a new email and tap the lightning bolt at the bottom. Then it's gonna ask you what type of email and what you're trying to sell, who you're selling to, and then type a few things to describe what you wanna communicate in the email. It'll also ask you then for the tone of email. You have a few different selections here. You'll see optimistic, helpful, witty. Select a few and see what it generates. Then hit generate. Now I have a complete email written by AI Assistant for me. Make sure you're taking all those things that are in brackets and filling in the right details. You don't wanna send an email with blank information. And lastly, coming to mobile soon is the prospecting workspace. So on the go with the HubSpot mobile app, you can be sure that your reps stay on top of their work no matter where they are. With Sales Hub, you'll be prospecting smarter, not harder. Click the link in the description to try our sales software today and see the difference relevance makes.